Physics, we all know, can be a difficult and daunting subject to learn. A teacher in Meridian, though, uses real-life scenarios to help his students make sense of it all. And Doug Petcash takes us to the Ambrose School, where this week's innovative educator is giving his students a crash course in physics. A lot of the labs they initially do when they're younger are quick cookie cutter labs, so I try and get them to think outside the box. Or in this case, on the track. So they're crashing cars, trying to look at impact forces and momentum and impulse. So that so when it hits, it angles up and it... So and then there deep. wouldn't be as much recoil. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you ready guys? Three, two, go. Oh, yeah. When they hit, it's one the went flying experience. the other way yeah. and then one... So I had the opposite effect on your yeah. Yeah. Ken Hosier has taught science at the Ambrose School for 14 years and has been using these tabletop car and track systems for lab experiments for the last couple years. So if you think of an airbag and the way it's deployed and how it decreases your momentum, um, they're trying to come up with ways to design cars that can decrease momentum and increase impulse uh, to prevent uh, further injury during a car accident. Yep. That didn't work. No. Students modify their cars with sails, springs, magnets. So this one's moving fast and then they both start moving slower. Even the rim of a styrofoam cup as a bumper. It's just super cool. We have different magnets that propel each other and we can work with springs and see how different forces affect. Hoser says it's about getting the students to soak up the subject matter with hands-on learning rather than only a lecture. Yeah, I think the goal of any teacher is not to be the sage on the stage, it's to get them engaged with the content. And the students say the approach works. Not just having Mr. Hoser up there saying this is an equation for something, we're actually getting to apply it to a real life case scenario. There's a lot of people who, um, me specifically, listening is a harder way to learn than just like working with it and seeing it happen. And Mr. Hosier loves what he sees happening in his classroom. I love the moment when there's that aha moment, when a student finally gets a concept and they sit for the first time, or when you push them and you challenge them and they work hard and accomplish something and they can see their accomplishment. Um, those are the moments why I teach. Ken Hosier, this week's Innovative Educator. And we feature an innovative educator every Monday right here on today's Morning News. If there's a teacher in your life that you want to nominate, you can do that. Just email us at innovativeeducator at ktvb.com. Maybe we'll feature that teacher. Stay tuned. We will be right back. Innovative Educator is powered by CapEd Credit Union. Help fund classroom projects like this one at weloveteachers.org.